If your uh, super glue ever clogs up, the legs of an LED usually work pretty well to get there. Perfect. I'll make sure this is locked in again. Just the tiniest little bit of a drip. Let it run a little, but don't let it run so far that it actually connects to the plastic because you won't get that loose. And then I'm doing a little baking soda in there. And that is now firmly set. So two more of those and this will be done. Like I say, this goes on the front here. Let me, uh... And this is the back. And the reason why I've got this taped off is that this computer front isn't really clear. There are some decals to go on it, but it's a really modeled looking uh, surface to it. And I've got this clear styrene. This is Plastruck. Again, I couldn't tell you exactly what it is. It's scrap that I've got laying around, but you should be able to find it easily enough. So I cut a bunch of it to uh, fit in the back here. So two layers of this stuff. Well, there's one in here already, but it's really tight fitting. So that one is still below the overall depth. Putting two of them makes the surface completely flat. So if I actually took a third piece here, there. So now this. I can glue together, not with super glue, but with some stuff called Microscales Micro Crystal Clear. This uh, seals up clear plastic and leaves it clear. It's almost like white glue, but not quite from what I understand. But white glue would work pretty well here too with no problems. Once you actually got a seal with the white glue, then you could actually put some super glue on there without worrying about crazing up the plastic. And uh, crazing means that the uh, clear plastic basically gets all foggy looking and ruins the clear effect. So let me put a little bit of tape back on here just to hold this together. Until I'm ready to deal with this later on. So this is going to work out really well. It definitely adds a lot of texture to it all. And once some lights are back there, I'm very sure that it's going to look really cool. So, reattaching this. And this only goes one way, top or bottom. So that's nice of, the, of Mobius to have keyed that for us. Bottom, top. As it happens, let's see if I can do this without destroying everything here. In fact, let me pull this clear piece off for the moment. Good enough. So I just dropped one piece, but no worries about that. So these two little braces here at the top and the bottom, because of the way I put this together, that snaps in really nice. So I've got one little LED in there now, which just fell out. Here's a 5mm LED. This is a bit too big to fit in really nicely, but it can work. The reason why I left all these fins out here is because they essentially act to uh, grab any LEDs that go in there. But a 3mm will fit really well. And because these are so close to what's going to be lit, I'm going to have to heavily resist them so they're not too bright. So uh, doing this way, I was initially thinking one LED per little uh, box. That would have been 54 of them, which would have been huge. This way I've got maybe 2, 4, 6 in the middle. And uh, 2, 4, 6, 7, 14, maybe 20 of them, maybe 25 total. So that cuts that down in half really nicely. And uh, I'm happy about that solution to it. Proceeding around on the uh, tour of all the uh, light boxes going on. So I 
created this wall a while ago that's going to work really well over here I'm thinking uh, very strongly about opening this door because that's often open in the show so uh, in order to help out the light block we're going to need some more uh, baffles basically so pulling this piece out here if a uh, computer image is going to go in there, I want to have a light somewhere back here bouncing off so it's not too bright. I don't want to stick an LED right up against it. So I initially made this little piece of uh, light boxing and then I figured if it's going to go here then it may as well help block out light everywhere else. So essentially it's going to act like a roof or a ceiling and that will trim down nicely. I've got this hole cut here because there's a registration hole right there that uh, needs to be able to go through. So it's not going to be a complete light blocker, but a little more along this side will help block any light coming through into the command area.